ancient China briefly had twelve dynasties. Tang Dynasty was the golden age of the poets. In seventeen zero five, the Emperor Kangxi commissioned several scholars to collect Tang poetry. Those scholars collected some forty nine thousand poetry. Created by more than two thousand two hundred poets, and published a poetry collection called the Quan Tang Shi. Qian Long lived for eighty nine years. Do you know how many poetry he created? Forty three thousand. If he started to create poetry when he was ten years old. This means he created at least one poetry per day. Unfortunately, those poetry didn't make him to be considered as a poet. During those poetry, about two hundred is Qianlong created for his mother, the Empress Dowager Chongqing. About one hundred is Qianlong created for his first empress. The Empress Xiao Xian, those poetries are good during forty thousand poetries. In China, at least when I was a kid, our Chinese textbook have some classic ancient Chinese poetries and articles. Li Yu, who was an emperor of Northern Tang, now had sixty nine poetries existed. We need to learn ten of them. Qianlong only had one poetry, which was included in the textbook. This poetry is called "Fei Xue," flying snowflakes. 一片一片又一片，两片三片四五片，七片八片八九片，飞入芦花都不见。The best sentence in this poetry is the last sentence, but this sentence didn't be created by Qianlong. In the legend, Qianlong, with his trusted minister, visited the West Lake. Then they enjoyed the beautiful view. Then it was snow. Qianlong felt it was the perfect time to create a poetry. He made the first three sentences, then didn't know how to continue. When Qianlong felt a little embarrassed, his minister made the last sentence for him. Actually, a Qing famous scholar Zheng Banqiao created a similar poetry. Let's enjoy it on this Friday. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.